Hello everyone, you may know me from Twitter. I'm your non-unit. I've come to YouTube to bring you news recaps and my thoughts on events and topics. I know many of you don't have the time or willpower to read through articles or long threads, and I don't blame you, but you guys do listen to music and podcasts, so I figured that you would enjoy this style of information. Any articles I mention will be posted on my Twitter in case any of you are bent on reading them. Let's begin. The Department of Homeland Security has been seen kidnapping people off the streets in Portland, Oregon. At least 150 Department of Homeland Security agents are expected to be deployed in the Chicago, Illinois area soon. The son and husband of Judge Esther Solis, who was working on the Epstein trial, were shot at the son fatally. To quote a CNN article, the FBI identified Roy Dan Hollander as the primary subject and said that he is dead, the U.S. Attorney's Office said in a statement. Dan Hollander was a lawyer who once argued a case before Solis, according to court records. Coronavirus cases continue to rise around the world. Roughly 15,650,441 people have been infected, 636,384 of which have died. The top three countries at the moment are the United States with 4,169,991, Brazil with 2,289,951, and India with 1,288,130. In a recent lawsuit, four Fox News anchors have been accused of sexual harassment. Ed Henry has been accused of rape. Eckert is suing Henry and the network for violation of sex trafficking laws and human rights laws and gender-motivated violence. I quote the article. Venus has active volcanoes on it. Studies show that there are 37 volcanic hotspots on the planet. Twitter has finally decided to crack down on QAnon accounts. The president tweeted the other day, and I quote, you will never hear this on the fake news concerning the China virus, but by comparison to most other countries who are suffering greatly, we are doing very well. We have done things that few other countries could have done. And while this may be true, we wouldn't know due to the hidden statistics of other countries, he's completely ignoring the fact that four million of his citizens have contracted this virus. His only thought is being greater than other countries. 147,000 people have died. Coronavirus quarantine tactics have started to bring down influenza cases in the southern hemisphere. Chile has seen about 5% of its usual influenza numbers so far. Australia recorded only 85 cases compared to the normal 22,000. And lastly, Oxford has produced a promising COVID-19 vaccine that appears safe and induces immune response, although further research is still needed. I'm sorry that this video is so short. I kicked off the idea earlier this week and lacked the patience to really wait any longer to make it. This video will serve as a guide for me to gauge responses and community reach. With that being said, I am done. Remember to use your VPNs, practice internet safety, and most importantly, no clicky-clicky boom-boom links. Have a wonderful day.